Here's a little bit of video to show you how rocky is coming. At this point, a lot of the spookiness uh, is mostly gone. You'll see him shy once in a while someplace. And I did the live video last Thursday with him and talked about how he's really not a spooky horse. And the situation that's going on with him is he mostly needs a leader. And at this point, uh, that's what we're doing with him and uh, riding him around, kind of being a leader, not being hard or anything, just saying, hey, let's go do this thing. And he's getting much happier with it. He's get he's very rarely shies at all right now. He'll kind of look at stuff, but he rarely shies. And now it's a big part of what we need to do is get him fit. So here's the gated horse. You'll see us moving him around in his gate, just kind of exercising him. We'll do a lot of this out in the big arena. We'll do some of it in here. And just working on getting him fit, moving. Get, as he gets fit, his gait gets better. And he'll, he'll start striding a little bit freer. When he was needing a leader and acting a little bit spooky, his body would get stiff. And he wasn't moving out real good. And now as that has gotten better, he's moving better. And now we need to get him better fit so that he continues to move better and stride like he's supposed to. So here Robert's riding him for me and uh, just asking him to move. Really nothing particular, nothing real extreme. Just put him in that gate and ask him to move. He gets a little bit tired and wants to slow down. We got a bump on him to get him to go again. Uh, Friday when I was riding him in, or Thursday when I was riding him in the live he was stumbly and this actually was recorded the day before that live so this was recorded on Wednesday and you'll see here he wasn't really stumbly he's kind of kicking up the dirt a little bit which we've talked about that with him that a lot of that is him just needing to pick up his feet and move them a little bit better and this, uh, this video actually was about 30 minutes, but I had to cut it down because where we put the camera, something had swung in front of it and blocked the view most of the time. So I had to cut it down to this so that you could see what we were doing. Right there, uh, Rocky slowed down to go into the barn, looking in the barn. <clears throat> now Robert's walking him a little bit. I think he'll ask you to move out again in just a minute. A little bit of turn, a little bit of flexing. He don't need to be as flexible as like a, a cow horse or anything, but he needs to steer nice, which he, he is. And really, uh, this horse was started nice uh, when, when he came in. He came in with uh, an issue of being spooky. We've not done any sacking out with him. We've not done any of that kind of thing. We've just ridden him and put some miles on it and the spookiness just went away and uh, that could be done now but it really isn't necessary it's just this is a situation where he just needs a leader he really wasn't a spooky horse a little bit lazy and just needed to move out and be told what to do we've also ridden him out we've ridden him out in the, the, the big arena we've ridden him out back and he, he looks around a good bit. He's aware of what goes on, and uh, but no big reactions. And as we continue to put more miles on him, it's going to continue to get that uh, even better. So as I said, this video I had to cut down a good bit. Uh, you see the little jumps. That's because a door had swung in front of the camera. It was really windy, and it was swinging back and forth. You see there, just walking around, he's walking nice, walking calm, confident, looking around, doing, he's, he's, this has turned out to be a pretty nice horse. So this is uh, Rocky, I'll put a link up here to his other videos on YouTube so you can see how he come all the way from the beginning. He's a lot different horse than what he came in. Until next time, thank you for watching.